chip in the new Huawei phone was discovered by researchers at Tech Insights. Carrie McIvory uh, is that company's managing director of reverse engineering, and she joins me now. Um, it was you and your team that discovered this advanced chip. I want you to tell me how you discovered it and what your concerns are right now. Well, it was, it's was it been an exciting few days, uh, uh, needless to say. Uh, the chip was launched earlier last week uh, during uh, Gina Raimondo's visit to uh, Beijing, and our sourcing team went to work to get our hands on one of the Huawei Mate 60 Pros. Uh, and with a flurry of activity, we were able to get one to our, our headquarters in Ottawa, Canada, where we had our lab technicians and engineers ready to uh, do a teardown of the device, which involved uh, receiving the device in Ottawa, and within seven hours, we were able to go through the very uh, rigorous process of tearing down the device and also using um, some of our um, uh, very proprietary uh, uh, research capabilities in, in the labs to reveal the device uh, inside the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. So what is it about this uh, chip um, that is concerning, that is advanced? I know that, you know, when uh, the Mate Pro was uh, announced, um, it was talking about mm -hmm. being able to make satellite calls, but not offering no real information about its capabilities. Right. So this the, the story really is about the chip that's inside the phone right now. Uh, a year ago, uh, SNCC, yeah. so Semiconductor Manufacturing, International Corporation uh, revealed their seven nanometer process, which means that they had been able to uh, build a chip at a very small uh, um, capability. And a year later, they're bringing to market a more uh, capable uh, chip. Um, but the chip itself allows for a lot more processing power. And as for your question around satellite uh, calls, that is something that we are continuing to do in our analysis to uh, ensure that that capability is as, as advertised. Look, the waste and you as lawmakers very concerned about what this mm -hmm. advanced chip means. Um, and I mentioned this earlier that the U.S. had actually banned any new communications technologies from various uh, Chinese companies, including Huawei and the likes of ZTE um, last year. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I want you to give me a sense of why and how this should be concerning for the West. Well, the concern specifically is that China is moving more towards its strategy of Made in China 2025 in the fact that they're providing semiconductor manufacturing equipment to domestic providers like SMIC to be able to make some of these advanced processes. Um, what we've seen in terms of the um, restrictions that have happened by U.S. lawmakers, but also other uh, countries around the world, is limiting the shipment of key manufacturing equipment to uh, China to allow Chinese manufacturers to keep pace. So the interesting news that comes out of SMIC having the Senate 7 nanometer N plus 2, meaning their second generation of 7 nanometer uh, process, is the fact that they are able to use existing equipment that's available to them within China to build these chips.